Hi, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to the channel. Good to see you back. Um, got an update here on the art artillery kit, which obviously you would have seen in the title. Um, we've got some good progress on the limber and made a start on doing some of the chain links and stuff. So uh, we'll get over to the bench and we'll have a look. Well, we've got the basic frame of the uh, limber together and uh, just going to give you an idea of how long it is. So it's uh, according to this measuring stick, it's 27 centimetres long. So, and that's just the limber. So we've got the limber painted in a sort of a brown tan light light sort of color um they were usually made of white oak um so i've tried to sort of replicate that that sort of color and uh obviously the metal parts are, are done with a sort of black and uh the the burnt iron color that i was using so that that's that's basically the fundamental limber um just bear with me a second i'll come back to you with a few more bits well there's a better sort of angle of the mock-up uh just to give you some idea but uh yeah so let's have a look at the gun so the cannon trail is uh is coming along that's the underside that's the top side and then the actual cannon itself will sit in there and we'll see there's further brackets and stuff to go on that there's a lot of brackets and height adjustments on the back of the of the barrel and all, all of that sort of stuff so there's a whole range of stuff and i've got the wheels and the wheels aren't finished yet so and it but anyway just to give you some idea of the size of the the cannon that again is uh I'll get my measuring stick out the squares are one centimeter each so the measuring stick says this is about about 25 or well yeah, 25 and a half centimeters so you know it's a it's a big old beast this and uh i'm really enjoying it so anyway what i'll do is I'll, I'll get back to getting on with some stuff and uh i'll come back to you in a minute right so uh um if you've watched before you'll know that when i unboxed the uh the wagon kit as opposed to the artillery kit um, I found this bag in there and this bag has got a um, number of rings and things which is really good and there is also a length of chain in there which, which is really useful because I'll use that as a gauge to the size of the chain that I, I need Let's see if I can bring that up closer and see if, it, if the camera will have it but you, you can see there there's length of chain which is the darker sort of bronze color and then the all of these hoops um, and there's also some pins i think these are designed because it's for the the stagecoach it's for hinging the, the the doors so that was quite useful because that gave me an idea of of what sizes i needed so during the course of my my travels i've actually picked up some some chain anyway um the the first bag i've got is, is is this tiny little bag here which is which i had when i built a wooden ship back in the day um and I've got, I've got some small ring type things in there and and some pins but i don't think these are the right scale so they're in the stack they were in the stash anyway um the other thing i did was um at one of the shows here in london uh, I saw this company um, and they do this chain and this chain looks very very similar to what's in the bag there um, I'd actually bought this up 
because I just thought it was a handy handy length of chain so there's you know it's sort of what's it say 50 centimeters long it's four millimeters length for the link 2.3 millimeters wide for the link and the material is 0.45 millimeter um, so that's a good selection um, also a company over here called fields of glory models um, they stock chain so I actually bought a couple of packets so these are these are you know these aren't expensive these you know it's a sort of couple of quid each that sort of price um so i bought a length some lengths of chain there and again these are this is just for general use i mean if you're building military models and you know lengths of chain on tanks and you know recovery vehicles all that sort of thing um the other thing that i did i went up to um there's a local sort of haberdashery store um it's not far away from me and they stock all sorts of things for people that are doing card things you know making their own christmas cards birthday cards whatever um scrapbooking all of that sort of stuff there's material there so you you can you know make your own banners and flags and all, all sorts of things so they've got all that sort of craft stuff and i found in there there were there were lengths of different size chain um and these were literally these were only a couple of quid ago uh, and I thought, well, you know, I'll buy a couple, see what they're like, just pick up the whole set, you know, bag out of each. Um, and this size, this size looks similar to the size in there, so I thought, well, that's close. So, yeah, so that, that I've got a selection of chains there, but don't use them for this project. They can go into the stash, they'll be used for something else. And another thing I found with these, these rings... I think these are used in jewellery making um, and there's I think they're silver um, they're certainly, I mean they're certainly sort of chrome plated but they're a variety of sizes and again I've got three bags because again it was only a few quid um, so in terms of replacing the missing parts similar to these in the artillery set I think I can work with what I've got here and start scratch building the lengths of chain that are going to be used uh, in the kit. So what I'll do is I'll pick out all the useful bits and and uh, I'll move on. So, right, I'll be back with you in a second. So just to give you an idea of, of where I'm going with this, um, on the instructions they've got these diagrams of the various rings and, and all of that sort of stuff um, and they correspond quite quite nicely to uh, to the actual parts that are in here so taking that as given um, I checked out this bag that I bought and these rings actually fit to be sort of like the medium one there and then this one is the small ones so i've got rings the, the the rings aren't the issue so the other thing is is the chain so i've decided to use this chain which is um from field of glories model field of glory models um and use that to replicate this construction here um, it basically says small chain one inch in, in length so given that uh, it also says the small wire ring so it would be this size rings so it's just a matter of uh, I think these are called lock rings I'm not sure what, what they were but yeah so essentially I'll feed one of those into the link of the chain through the part which is on there you can see there there's a there's a hoop there and through this part here as well there's a hoop there and then make up the part so i'll come back to you in a sec once i've got that done okay so <laughs> given that's the diagram it's it's roughly the right size 
so I've got the two parts and a length of chain and the two two rings and fed them all together like that and then what I'll do is the silver rings um, I'll paint those uh, um, they'll 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 be okay they'll they'll, they'll take some paint that's that's not an, not an issue um, but there's there's the first of many uh, pieces of chain or assemblies of chain this goes on the rear of the limber um, it goes in, in this place here so it's sort of like a, a catch pin if you like um, that goes through the ball so you'd have when you've got the gun on, on that hook the ball will come up through the ring of the gun trail and then that pin goes in there to stop the the gun tr trail from bouncing off the hook so you know pretty much <laughs> the same as you would have today if you're towing a trailer or a caravan or something um just out of interest while you while you're here let me just uh, move the diagrams out of the way um just in case you're wondering this metal chain uh, to cut it i use these these are a pair of um, Euron um, cutters made in the USA. These are, are really, really good. I've had these for years. Um, they're really good for, for cutting, well, basically metal. I bought them to cut uh, track on a model railway, uh, but they're really, really good. Um, so I'm glad I kept those. Well, you never throw tools away. Um, and I've got a couple of pliers here that I use to to manipulate the the ring but um yeah so that's the ring the chain done that's the principle so I've shown you how that is and now all I've got to do is go through the through the kit and make up loads more so I think that's the point where I'm going to have to uh, love you and leave you for now um I'll get this put together and uh, uploaded very very soon anyway um if you've watched it and you've got all the way to here thanks for watching do appreciate it as you know please leave comments below i really do appreciate your comments and uh we'll see you on the next one take care bye for now